Hello. Today class is about hydroxylation. Okay. Hydroxylation actually is the formation of one two diols. So formation of one two diols of one two diols from alkenes or olefin compounds is already known as hydro hydroxy hydroxylation. Okay. Hydroxylation. So the hydroxylation is the formation of one to diones from alkenes. So you can have the generally you can write down here with so here you can get either cis cis one to diol cis or you can write trans 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 one to diols the trans one to diol one two diol okay you can have cis or trans by reacting with reagents okay so here we can represent that formation of one two diols either cis or trans from or if free compounds from alkenes by reacting some reagents is generally known as hydroxylation okay so depending on the nature of the reagents now the reaction may be uh, maybe there may be three types okay so we can write on depending on the depending on the nature of the reagents so we can write on here depending depending on the nature of the depending on the nature of the on the nature of the reagents use nature of the reagents or you can say reaction conditions reagents or you can say reaction conditions reaction conditions hydroxylation may be hydroxylation hydroxylation may be of may be of may be of three types okay may be of three types maybe there are three methods three types or methods there are three methods of hydroxylations so first one is so from epoxides from epoxides these epoxides which are formed earlier cases from by which are formed by epoxidation which are formed by epoxidation of alkenes epoxides are formed by epoxidation of alkenes so by these epoxides by reacting with by reacting with by reacting with aqueous aqueous acid or or base you can get out you know, this uh, one to diols okay so, so i write down here and then they say alkenes by reacting with epoxides we pass we got epoxides is obtained by reacting with par acid or peroxide and uh, in cases of par acid by reacting this fast alkenes are reacted to uh, use peroxide or peroxide to get all uh, epoxide so this epoxide when reacted with either acid hydrocarbon acid in presence of water or you can say base in presence of water so we got this uh, here we got a trans product trans one to diols okay trans one to diol trans attack trans attack then so i'm repeating again that first method is from epoxide which are formed by epoxide which are formed by epoxidation alkenes by reacting with paris peroxides or piracy so these par par epoxides can undergo acid hydrolysis or by reacting with aqueous alkali to get this trans product okay here one to the diols are trans diol so let's see the mechanism of this formation of this one to diol trans one to diol so I mechanism of formation of this no hydroxylation okay mechanism of the first method mechanism for the formation of the hydroxy trans 
harus hidroksi hidrosilasi trans one to tells so mechanism first one is the lyric gases epoxidation takes place by reacting silicon paraxis the ice o o c o r k so this is paraxis so here first attack here this one attacks so this will have gives like this so you can have first you can have C okay let's just see we are written here so here O voice here I think we will go like this put the charge here so here voice here okay so your text first your text here this one what is the S's she will cover the link S's or negative so you can pick up this one you can pick up this photo so you can have this epoxide fast epoxide is formed fast formation of epoxide and this epoxide can undergo you know, pro-reaction by attacking with acids or base so let's say this attack with acids with acids fast is proton attack so always in presence of acid so it becomes always then by hydrolysis by water so water attack on the opposite sides so it is like this so here always hydrolysis and also we broken down here so we got this always here okay so this we got is trans at a trans product here trans at a okay, trans product here similarly we use this with bass bass Pass base abstract, pass attack here. From here, we'll cut this. Pass attack here, so it goes like this. So pass with the base also like this. So let's say always this side. And then C, O negative charge, okay. So here O negative charge will come down. Then hydrolysis with water, in presence of water. So it gets the same product. So here, second method is, uh, first of this, first the second method is, uh, I mean, First method is mechanism of the reactions is first formation of the epoxide by reacting with pyrazid. So we already discussed in the epoxidation cases and other cases. And the second, this epoxide is the second reacted with by acid or base. By chemical reacid first proton attack, then hydrolysis, you go to transport up. If you react it with the base, the base directly attack with the carbon at all to keep this you know, by uh, this intermediate, then the hydrolysis got a transfer. So this is pass method mechanism of the formation of uh, trans one to diodes. The second method is second method is by oxidation of alkenes with present permanganate or osmium tetrachloride. So second method is by oxidation of by oxidation of Alkenes or orophilic compounds, alkenes, orophilic compound with PMNO4 plus and permanganate or osmium tetroxide. Osmium tetroxide. So here we can choose this is second methods followed by hydrolysis. Followed by hydrolysis. Hydrolysis. Okay. So this is the second method for formation of the uh, or I want to dials or you can say hydroxylation second method so here this, uh, this is the orifice comp compounds it reacts with say either KMNO4 or you can say osmium tetroxide osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis hydrolysis followed by hydrolysis we got this here the product is c -cellac. Is so here product is cis at the okay cis onto dial so in this hydroxylation hydroxylation alkenes are reacted with present permanganate or osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis so here let us see the mechanism of the reactions mechanism of this second method so here first first uh, we can react this first we can react this uh, First, uh, KMNO4, let's say by KMNO4, okay. So we have KMNO4, K 
Okay, we're gonna fall for some farming in it. Oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, man. Oh, okay. Make it south and put some farming in it. Okay, I'm in on four. So here, I take it first, and then I take here, and I take the longer like this. Okay. So here, formation of this first is a uh, first step is formation of an cyclic intermediate. Cyclic intermediate. So O, O, M and O negative south, and the K positive, O M and K. So then this is by uh, by hydrolysis, by hydrolysis with water, so you can get so hydrolysis water, you got the same product, okay. This we have discussed also earlier also. So this is, we got a cis product, cis one to dial, okay. So another method, this is another method for formation of hydroxylation by from alkenes. So first, I'm repeating again the mechanism is first, um, alkenes, Reacted with Russian permanganate, we got a cyclic intermediate with some hydrolysis, we got a cis product. Okay. So this is the second method. And third one is the most important reactions, is the Prevost reactions, Prevost method. So here, third method is third method is the third method. The third method is Reverse, reverse reactions. Why? Or reverse method of reverse method of hydroxylations. Here, here, here. Alkenes are reacted with alkenes are reacted with iodine are reacted with iodine in presence of iodine in presence of here. Uh, alkenes are reacted with iodine in presence of iodine or in presence in presence of a uh, salt a uh, silver salt you can say silver salt this can be either silver salt which can be either acetate acetic silver acetate or silver silver benzoate benzoate okay so here previous method is how hydroxylation Either alkenes are reacted with iodine in presence of a silver salt. So for example, say let's say an example say like this. Here iodine plus iodine reacts with silver salt of the so let's say R C O2 H Z. Okay. So here you can do acid in presence of acid. Okay. Acetic acid or benzoic acid. Or you have silver acetate or acetic acid. Or here silver benzoate or benzoic acid like this. So in this case it forms a trans product is obtained here. A trans product. So here O is here and here O is. So the product is trans adduct. Okay, trans adduct. Trans one to diol. Okay. So in this case mm, uh, here I'm repeating again the third method of reverse method of hydroxylation takes place uh, by reacting with alkenes with iodine in presence of a silver salt like this okay so let's see the mechanism of the formations mechanism of the reactions mechanism so another here so first mechanism of the reaction takes place so you can write this first alkene reacts with iodine so uh, we form saying iodine form reactions in presence of this silver salt Silver acetate or silver benzoate. So first form say other forms I positive charge this R C O2 negative charge. Okay. So first you form this. So this I take here this again I take from the from the back sides. So you what is form? So we got I so write down here. So you got here. C C with C then iodine here so I take this uh, R C O two this is O C R here and the one O here okay so product is R C O O C I take this I take from back side so it goes like this 
Then this coming data here, we got a cyclic intermediate. In cyclic intermediate, we got R, C, O, C, and here C, O, like this. Okay. So you got an intermediate iron level, iron has gone. So product is like this. So now this again, I take by another molecule of R, C, O, 2 from the back side. So the, the attack from the here positive charge here. This carbon become positive charge this side because it's like this. Okay, then with this one, so this carbon becomes positive charge. So now this attack from the back side. So we can get this way. So the product is, I write down the product here. So because space is less here. So I write down here. So the first attack from the other side. So we got this R. C O O then is C and C O C O R okay. So this is a product for ten from here. So like this, it's coming here. So we got this product. So this after hydrolysis with water, so we got this hydrolysis with water, we got this trans product. Okay, this we want OS and this becomes OS. Okay, so trans one to add diol okay so this is the mechanism so i'm repeating again so here first calcine reacted with iodine to give a yes, iodoform product addition takes place then attack from by the carboxy group from the back side so you got another intermediate and again at another another molecule of this uh attack from the uh, another opposite side so we got this Two diacetate compound, intermediate and hydrolysis, we got this trans onto diol. So this is about the uh, previous method of hydroxylation. Then we will we will modify these uh, reactions with what? With what? Modify this, these reactions. So it is known as with what reverse hydroxylation. So here the method re the reaction is now as would work free was hydroxy lesson okay hydroxy lesson okay so here uh, we use the modified by in reaction takes place in presence of reaction takes place reaction takes place in presence of water in presence of water okay so like earlier we got a first step is a uh, I'm repeating again the mechanism of the reactions. First is uh, this attack with the uh, iodine. So we got an iodoform, iodoform reactions, addition takes place with iodine. Okay, then positive charge. Then this again, this one attack by this uh, acetate ion on the back side. So we got this. So I write it here, C, O, C, the R, double one O, C, iodine, okay. So this, the earlier case is same case, up to this is same. Then we got this product, R, C, O, C, O, C, okay. So product like this. So this is the product forms. So now this, in presence of water, this intermediate, let's say A here intermediate A okay so in, in presence of water would one modified in presence of water so the actions this one I'm repeating again here R C O O K C C C is a positive charge yeah so in presence of water water attacks from the side so you got R C O O See here, same or other same. So here R and O is here, water attack here. Okay, first intermediate, we got this one. Then this undergo uh, this uh, reaction takes place this way. So you got like this. So loss of photon is here, photon loss. So here migration here takes place. So here we got R, C, double one O, O, then C, C. O negative charge okay so uh, you can write down I'll write down here 
Okay, I'll write down here. Okay, this first uh, open this one. So it gives R C the carbon O. This one O. Then O here. Then this carbon. Then this carbon like this. Okay, then we have O negative side here. So I pick up uh, by hydrolysis. This also by hydrolysis finally. Or walk up my hydrolysis or walk up walk up in water. So this pick up this one converted to OH. Okay, here also converted to OH. So it is called you got a one to dial C's, one to dial. So this is second third method of hydroxylation. So it is this known as in presence of water, the reaction is known as Woodward Prevost hydrocylation. So now I'm repeating, summarizing the hydrocylation. So hydrocylation, I'm repeating again, okay. Hydrocylation is a formation of one to diodes from alkenes. So there are three methods. Part one, first one is from epoxy, epoxides, which are formed by epoxidation of alkenes with paracid or peroxide. These epoxides are treated with either with acid, in presence of uh, acid or aqueous alkali, we got this um, trans one to diodes. This is the first method. And the second method is by reacting by oxidation of alkenes with prussian permanganate or osmium tetroxide followed by hydrolysis. So here in this case, when alkenes are reacted with prussian permanganate, we got an intermediate, cyclic intermediate, which one has hydrolysis, we got this cis one to add up. Okay, here we got a cis product. And the third method is first is previous method of hydroxylation. Here first, uh, the, these alkenes are reacted with iodine in presence of silver salt of acetate or benzoate. Okay, so here we got first set up. We got another addition product with iodine to give an iodine form. Then this reacted with Carboxylic acid and then uh, from the above, opposite side and followed by another hydrolysis. So finally, you got uh, this uh, trans one to attack. Okay, and, th and, th and this method can be modified by Woodward. So finally, modifi modified by Woodward, which is now is Woodward Freebos hydrocylation. Here, water is used in presence of water, reaction takes place. So here, I'm meeting same mechanism and then finally water attacks and then hydrolysis you work out hydrolysis you got this cis product so we got in the case of previous method transfer is obtained but in the case of would uh, wood for modify method you got a cis product so this is about uh, today's class about a uh, hydrocylation so i want i will wind up here so next we'll take okay